Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, for A-list ticket attractions in San Diego, I had three options. Legoland, the San Diego Aquarium, or SeaWorld. This is the very first SeaWorld here in San Diego. I've been to both the Texas and Orlando one. So today, we're gonna be checking out SeaWorld San Diego. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. busy as heck in here. I think I'm more of a SeaWorld guy because I like animals and attractions, but these attractions here are nothing like Disney World attractions. They are a little more extreme, but um, there's four things that are closed today. Let's see, the Tidal Twister ride, the Turtle Reef, Journey to Atlantis ride, and the Sea Lion and Otter Amphitheater is also closed. Everything else is open, and uh, we're gonna have some fun in SeaWorld today. Oh, look at this guy coming at us. That's a white spotted bamboo shark right there. Ooh. All right, just checking out the uh, magnets here. I don't think they're gonna run out or anything by the end of the day, but I did think I was gonna possibly get my SeaWorld magnet. And of course I, I like this one, but I haven't ridden the electric eel yet, so. We gotta wait on a magnet. I'll come back at the end of the night and uh, grab one later. There's gonna be fireworks here tonight too. Park is open 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. And their prices change throughout the week right now because they have different hours and things going on each day. Uh, so that's what's going on. We need to find a ride. Look at that tower up there that goes up and down. And then this banner. So we are, we're doing Mardi Gras here at the park. They're gonna have some uh, activities and parades here later midday, so. Need to get some food inside me real quick before I go on a big coaster, so I'm gonna get a pretzel, I think. Hi, you guys. You guys like oh, yeah. Today? It's good oh, stuff. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. All right, let's go pick a ride. All right, we got the electric eel. Just happens to be the first one I came to with a 25 minute wait time. <laughs> but wait a minute. You're not getting a pass on this one. I'm gonna put my GoPro chest mount on and we're gonna go on this together. So you're not getting out of this. Oh, geez. Way up there. Oh, jeez. Let's do it. Let's do All it. right, here we go, guys. <laughs> now sit back, hold on tight, prepare to be electrified. All right, I am next in the front line. We'll let them go and then we'll get in. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now, get ready for a shocking ride aboard a electric eel. Enjoy your ride. Oh my gosh! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, oh my gosh! Come on now! Oh, 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 oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. oh my god! Oh. Ah. Ah. Holy cow! Wow! Oh. I have to try that one later. I got off the ride and noticed that my camera on here was tilted up at the sky. I didn't have it uh, tightened enough on there. Boy, that was that was a heck of a first coaster. Holy cow, that was good. Let's try another one. All right, Manta's open. It was not open the last time. Was that Texas? Anyways, it's open today. <laughs> all right, all right. So these rides are a little more extreme than any of the Disney rides that I'm used to, right? So a little different procedures here. Uh, the oh, You can't have any loose clothing of any kind, sunglasses, hat, anything in your pockets at all. I'm gonna show you the procedure. You are allowed to have still a GoPro on a chest mount that's locked to your body on any of the rides, which thank you for that at least. Let me show you the uh, locker process. So there's the entrance, no loose articles beyond this point. Oh my gosh. We're currently at a 20 minute wait time, which not bad at all for that ride. And then here's the uh, lockers, which you can uh, rent any of these lockers. You get use of all of them at all the rides. It's nine bucks for four hours. All right, that line wasn't too bad. Again, gonna be going up to the uh, front row here for the best seat. There's our Manta. Oh yeah. All right, hold on tight. 
I got this tight this time, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a nice, easy one. Yeah, this is a nice, easy one. I like this. It's a good pace. Well, that's cool. Good three. Come on, man. Son of a... swimming around. Heck yeah. Little stingrays. Oh, they're cool. Wow. You can uh, go around the base and if they come by you can uh, pet them. That's what some people are doing. Petting the top of the rays. Pretty cool place here. So they just made an announcement that the 1 p.m. Dolphin Days has reached their capacity level. So we're all getting kicked out of line and it's still a half hour away from starting. So I guess I'm just gonna sit on the curb and drink my beer and think about the dolphins instead. Guess you gotta get here an hour early. Sucks because they've canceled a lot of the shows this season. There's not much to see. So you got everybody flocking to the few that are open and now there's seating capacity limits. Well, we do have some uh, sea lions here showing off for us, talking to people. <laughs> oh. I like the uh, sea lions though. We have those back home in uh, Puget Sound. <laughs> okay, so it's like SeaWorld's version of uh, the rapids, Cali River Rapids at Disney, and people aren't wearing rain jackets or anything. It's warm, it's sunny, they don't look too wet, right? Let's try it. <laughs> All right, we made it up here. I'm going to go with shorts and a t-shirt. My, my friends here are wearing jackets, Hi. so we'll see how this works out. You might get wet. You might get wet. Uh, I'm going to pick that semi-dry seat right there. All right, we're getting started. Told my guests they might be on YouTube, so they might check it out Yo, later. Let me let you guys know I'm the typical black girl. I didn't have to get my hair wet. <laughs> no, we got, we got the dry one. We got the dry one here. Right, here comes our first rapid. That no, wasn't so bad. Woo! <laughs> and this is why you sit there like that? I'm oh. I'm clean. I made it, I made it through clean. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh! I'm still dry! I'm still dry! <laughs> there is a zero percent chance of making it through this. Okay. 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 Alright. Alright. Woo! 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 Oh, that's cool. We just came through an actual shipwreck right there too. Nice. Now I got some time to dry off. Let's go get a beer and something to eat. And uh, if you didn't make it out as dry as I did, they do have dryers here. You can pay $6 for a dryer or buy a $40 towel with the SeaWorld logo on it. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. I might do that again before I leave. In fact, I'm going to have a two o'clock lunch here and uh, get something here from the SOS shipwreck. Sometimes I have gourmet steak. Sometimes I go for the kids menu, get some comfort food, chicken nuggets, french fries and some uh, mac and cheese just depends i'm not doing everything wrong i'm just doing things differently than you'd do that's okay yeah i'm about uh, 45 minutes early for the orca encounter and it's already crazy busy i would otherwise say SeaWorld is back to a normal state you know no masks required anywhere but they are clicking away all the people coming into these little uh, shows so 
We're filling up, but like I said, 45 minutes till the Orca encounter. Can you see him chilling back there, waiting to come on stage? Reminds me of uh, Free Willy with the curved dorsal fin. That's how you know they're in captivity. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. There's nothing like seeing a killer whale up close. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It looks like they're located in that light oval eye patch, but that's a visual distraction. And the killer whale's engine, propelling them at speeds of almost 30 miles per hour. Whistles. and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused. Mike has a special surprise for you. Those killer whales were really awesome. What beautiful mammals. We don't have popcorn buckets here at SeaWorld like Disney, so it's kind of just plain, ordinary looking popcorn stuff. But anyway, one more chance to check out uh, Dolphin Days here in about an hour or so. Again, I'm gonna head over there pretty soon here, about 45 minutes early, try to get a seat in there. Then it's gonna get dark, and then there's some Mardi Gras live shows and stuff, and we'll see if there's any more rides I gotta hit. I had to put on my hoodie here because it's getting a little colder out here. Uh, the line for electric eel is still only 25 minutes. I'm gonna try this again. I liked that one more than Manta, and I wanna try to get this a little tighter on my chest so that you could actually see the ride with me. So I'll go do that one more time. And to be clear, that's gonna be it for rides. Unless I wanted to do the really baby kids rides, that's all that's open today. There is a lot closed at SeaWorld today. Nope, got there and they changed it to a 75 minute wait. I wanna go check out the dolphins, so I don't wanna miss that. Seriously, we still have 40 minutes left. They're forming one line for people who have a spouse in there saving their seat for them. Otherwise, it... That's my only complaint about SeaWorld, and I really don't have a whole lot of complaints, but the show's really difficult to get in and see any of the live shows here, unless... That's all you want to do, and I wanted to ride some rides. Hey, wait, I see some pink through here. Actually, they look very orange. <laughs> Their natural color does not look very pink for these pink flamingos. Oh, they are such cool birds, though. I love them. That's awesome. You guys thirsty? Were you, were you thirsty? Okay. All right, let's go check out the uh, crab and octopuses. Octopi? Yeah. There's a starfish there. That's a big crab. Holy cow. <laughs> what? Found a frozen margarita with an edible mango straw on the way. Because that's probably a good idea before a crazy upside down coaster. That is freaking delicious. You wouldn't like it. Well, crumb. Now it's 90 minutes. <laughs> I'm determined, though. I'm determined. All right, take two. Hold her steady now. 
All right, round two. Please lift up on the comfort collar and step over the purple bar. All right, well, here we go. Let's hold that margarita down. One of the best rides I've ever been on. It's kind of similar to Mr. Freeze at Six Flags, except way, way better and very, very unique. That's my favorite ride. I'm gonna definitely go see if I can find a magnet that says something about the electric eel. That was a shocking ride. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> no, no electric eel magnets, but I did go in there and pick out my SeaWorld magnet. It's got the uh, Orca killer whale, which I guess that was my favorite part of the day. If not for that ride, I liked seeing the uh, show with the orca whale, so that's my magnet. I'm gonna sit here and uh, enjoy a little bit more of my popcorn, let my head rest from the uh, spinning and everything, and then I'm gonna be leaving the park before the fireworks, because we still got three hours and 20 minutes until park close and fireworks. And I don't see anything else to really do. There's no more shows or rides that I wanna go on that I haven't been on, so I'm gonna call it quits. I would have liked to have seen two other shows today. Other than that, had a good day. A lot of fun. So I must have looked at 15, 20 different stores throughout the park on the way out. Literally the last park, like the last call. Oh, you didn't buy anything. Stop in here after you exit the park and go in here and buy something. I walked through there just for fun. And guys, I literally found one of their last remaining electric eel 3D magnets for the ride. Very, very strange. So I got two magnets from SeaWorld. And if you ever come here, even though I didn't get to ride four other good ones, um, the electric eel was a lot of fun. So this should be hermed down by now. I got me one last hot, delicious beverage for the road. And good, checks out. Mm, yum, yum. All right, we had about 45 minutes back to the RV and see those kitties. What a fun day, Dad had, Opie. I missed you. Him's laying on my, my dirty shirts. And Terra Bear over here, I missed you. You would have loved the manta rays and the baby spotted shark. You guys would have been great friends. You would have loved the uh, rapid ride. Yeah, that would have been right up to kitties out. Sorry, there's no kitties allowed, guys. <sighs> what a fun day. So uh, more from San Diego in my next video, guys. Thanks for joining us from Opie and Tara and I. Please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And tell me what is your favorite ride to go on in any park in the country. See you next time, guys.